Hey, so who here has seen an ad for a mental health app? Could be something like mindfulness or mood tracking. Okay, most of you. And what your hands show is that mental health apps are more common and available than ever before, which makes the question of whether they work more important than ever before. We set out to answer that question by systematically reviewing the literature. We began with broad, inclusive searches of two major databases, initially coming up with about 1,000 papers. We systematically narrowed down the results to find reviews on the effectiveness of mental health apps across disorders and across populations. What we found gave us reasons to be really optimistic, as well as reasons to be cautious. So the biggest reasons to be optimistic is that we found apps that really work. Some anxiety apps have gone through clinical trials, where app users' anxiety was significantly reduced compared to controls. Some suicide prevention apps were found to follow best practice guidelines for getting people crisis support when they need it the most. Apps can save lives, and they can do it by offering accessible crisis support, education, treatment, symptom monitoring, and more. But there are also reasons to be cautious. We found that some apps that set out to help people may actually harm them. Two suicide prevention apps, for instance, were found to be showing users a list of ways to instantly kill themselves. They were recommending for people to restrict their access to those methods, but the way they did that directly contradicted a World Health Organization recommendation on suicide prevention. Most apps also don't sufficiently account for data security and privacy, and if you're putting in sensitive information, you want to be absolutely certain that that information won't be hacked or sold. So, are mental health apps worth trying? Maybe. But just like you wouldn't go to anyone who called themselves a psychologist without necessarily having the education or license to back that up, you shouldn't just download any mental health app. For the rewards to outweigh the risks, you want to be sure that you're finding apps that are safe, effective, and usable, with evidence backing its recommendations and safeguards in place for your data. You want to be certain that they're going to help and not harm. So in our model for selecting mental health apps, we recommend using a resource called CyberGuide, which rates apps across these domains so you can be sure that you're finding things that are going to help you out. We also recommend looking at user reviews of apps and writing your own to put more information out there. The landscape of mental health apps is new and exciting and rapidly changing, full of resources helpful and harmful. So if you want to find an app to help yourself or a friend, to boost your mental health, or to get you through a tough time, help might be out there. Just do your research before putting your mental health in your own hands and in your own pocket. Thank you.